this week I am testing this very good looking five seater Peugeot 308. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive and don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on our socials. <laughs> the child seat section of this review is brought to you by InfraSecure. In the back of the Peugeot 308 there are Isofix in the two outer rear seats and they are behind the most beautiful concealed zips and really nice and easy to connect to. There are top tether anchorages on the back of all three seat backs and they're easily accessible through the boot. Now I could fit two infrasecure child seats in the back here really comfortably. These rear seats are a little bit sculpted which prevents you putting three in. I have got the Attain More and the Achieve More back here and they were really nice and easy to install. Now when it comes to legroom in the back here, with a rear facing child seat there is really not much legroom in front at all. I'm 162 centimetres and I really struggle to sit and drive in front of this rear facing child seat. However, with forward facing child seats we could get a 186 centimetre driver or passenger in front. To learn more about the child seats used in this video, just click on the link here. Storage in the back of the Peugeot 308 is quite minimal. The door bins in the back will hold a refillable water bottle and an iPad just fits in them too. There are no cup holders back here, but there are net mat pockets in the back of both front seats that will hold but not conceal an iPad. And there's a little phone tray and USB sockets in the back of the central console box. There's also air conditioning vents in the back of the central console box too, which is fantastic for keeping little passengers nice and cool while you're driving along. In the front of the 308, the storage is better. There are two cup holders in the central console. They'll hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup, and there's a little storage well behind them too. The central console box is great in the front here, and it's got room for a really large drink bottle or wine bottle in there too and there are two phone charging trays in front of the cup holders. One's a charger and one's for storage and there's USB sockets there too. The glove box is a good size in here that would hold my wallet and iPad with the manual and the door bins are great in the front. They'll hold a large refillable water bottle, iPad and my wallet would fit as well. The boot door of the Peugeot 308 opens manually and closes that way too. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. Empty will hold 10 shopping bags, or a twin pram and two shopping bags, or a tandem pram and two shopping bags, a single pram and two shopping bags, or a compact stroller and eight shopping bags, or a small to medium sized dog. When it comes to driving the Peugeot 308, it is lovely. I love the way it drives. The steering wheel is especially nice. It's nice and small and petite. It feels really delicate in your hands. Also, the drive is really responsive. It's really light steering with a really nice tight turning circle, which makes parking and maneuvering in school and supermarket car parks really nice and easy. Also, visibility is really good in here. With the two child seats in the back, I can see nicely out of the back. I've got the side mirrors, but also those cameras are really nice too. The media system in the Peugeot 308 is really lovely and modern and easy to use. I love the green highlights in here to match the outside of the car. You can control the massage seats through here. You've also got sat nav and you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well, which is fantastic. When you put it into reverse, the camera images are really lovely and clear. I like having the bird's eye view and you've also got other views you can choose from too. So to sum up with the Peugeot 308, it is such a beautiful looking car that it is a joy to get in and drive. And that drive is really nice too and I love the way that steering wheel feels in my hands. In terms of family practicality, you can get those two child seats really nicely in the back. It's perfect for forward facing child seats, however with rear facing you really struggle with leg room for the front driver. The boot space is good too and practical for families fitting a twin pram in the back. The media system is good and the cameras are great too.